love running. I love running. Runner's knee is a very common thing that affects runners. In fact, when I first started running, it was my very first injury. Uh, the most important reason why I believe it happens is most footwear that's available for runners is not shaped like a human foot. And the reason why that's critical is the talus bone, which sits deep inside of the ankle of the foot, this bone right here, is the foundation upon which the tibia and the fibula, the two lower leg bones, reside. So no matter what activity you're involved in, where your talus bone goes is where your tibia also goes, and by extension, where your patella or your kneecap will go, because your tibia attaches to your patella through the patella, patella tendon. The movements of the foot are very, very uh, often responsible for problems in the knee as well as recovery in the knee. So uh, these days, typically runner's knee, there's a couple of different things that can happen. You've got pain typically under the kneecap. You've got iliotibial possible, uh, possibility of knee pain on the outside. You've d definitely got meniscus problems inside, but the one that overwhelmingly bothers runners is on the front of the knee or under the kneecap. Th these days we call it patellofemoral tracking disorder. And that's a very important thing to understand because the patella will track, as we're mentioning, where the tibia goes. We're all born with our big toe splayed wider than the ball of our foot. And when our big toe is in that configuration and when our fifth toe is spread wider than the fifth metatarsal, that's a very stable foundation for us to leave the ground on. And when we run and walk and hike like that, if our foot stays like that, when we leave the ground, the tibia stays directly on top of the talus bone and that kneecap by extension is also gonna stay in its groove where it belongs. Unfortunately, we don't live in that ideal world where athletic shoes are shaped like feet. We live in a world where athletic shoe designers believe it's okay to include fashion features into footwear that people play sports in. And the most problematic footwear feature, in my opinion, for knee pain is the tapering of the toe box. When we take an individual's toe and we push it over here and we ask them to go run like that, we encourage this part of their foot to collapse inward, a motion known as pronation. Everybody who runs is very familiar with that. That motion has erroneously been described as the most common reason why runners get hurt. Unfortunately, the science does, does not substantiate that, yet many doctors and many people that sell shoes are still telling people that their pronation problem is causing their whatever their running injury is. What's interesting about pronation is if we were concerned about that, it's curable not by putting something up under the arch, as is conventional therapy, it's curable by reapproximating the great toe. And the reason why this is important for knee pain is if that individual is gonna go out and run and their toe is over here, tapered, and particularly if it's also toe sprung, 15, 20 degrees off the ground, that shoe forces that individual's foot to undergo more pronation than it's supposed to. And the true irony of this is when you get put on the treadmill at running shoe stores and they diagnose your pronation, they believe that they're gonna sell you a shoe that's gonna correct your pronation by limiting its motion here, yet ironically that shoe is also going to create pronation because the ends of the toe box are not gonna be wider than the ball of the foot. Consequently, that anti-pronation, that motion controlling shoe that will not cure you, is going to be crippling your foot in the direction of a bunion formation and encouraging this abnormal motion. When your talus gets encouraged to pronate more or go down towards the ground more because of the tapered toe box, guess what goes with it? Your tibia goes with it and guess what else? your kneecap gets drug out of its alignment. There's a very important relationship between the foot and the arch and the kneecap. I'm gonna put my foot into shoe position. My heel is gonna be higher than the ball. My toes are gonna to be higher than the ball. And this is gonna be the widest part. Nature did not design us to function that way. If, if I bear weight on that, my foot wants to pronate. And what I want you to notice is that as my foot wants to pronate, it's subtle, but my knee is going to start going out of alignment. It's going to start being pulled in this direction. So my foot's going to go off in that direction, my knee's going to go off in this direction, and that's going to start that tracking disorder that we're talking about. What's proper is for the heel 
to be completely level with the whole front of the foot spread wider than the ball. If I bear weight on that, that is what nature intended. And my knee is going to stay on top of my foot as opposed to if I get into that pointed toe running shoe with my heel up, it's all going to start going out of alignment. So knee pain is oftentimes found to have its cause in a foot that is not positioned properly inside of the shoe. This is important because a lot of people will go to various medical providers and have a large workup done on their knee, imaging, maybe arthroscopy, only to find out that the source of the knee pain may not actually be in their knee, it actually may be at a distant site such as their foot. First thing I encourage them to do is change their footwear. Um, I encourage them to understand how if you have an elevated heel on your running shoe, the outer calf muscle, the gastrocnemius muscle, is going to get shorter. So not only is it this, this um, triplanar problem that we get from the, sh the shoe causing the foot to do this, we also get a, a, an imbalance between the muscles on the back of the knee and the muscles on the front of the knee. Their foot needs to be in natural alignment. In other words, they're just going to chase symptoms. So I get them in natural alignment. I encourage them to heat their knee before activity with some sort of a heat source like a deep heat cream. And I am a person who favors ice application afterwards. But honestly, I, I encourage people to focus more on their foot as their first line of defense when their knee is bothering them. I love, love running. I love running. I love, love running. I love running.